Hey guys, I'm just doing a really quick video here. Um, I finally finished editing all the video from the show and it's uploading and you know I was originally gonna do one per day but I know everyone's anxious to see them so I will just be uploading them and posting them as they upload so you might get more than one video a day. Um, but with that said, then that means I might take a break from videos for a few days just because I've uploaded so many already. Um, but also, I just wanted to remind you guys that tomorrow um, I am going to get the jaw procedure done. I'm going to get the jaws flushed, get the injections in, and I am a little... Uh, I'm actually quite scared. I'm freaking out a little bit. And so I need your prayers, your warm wishes, your positive thoughts, whatever you believe in. I just, I just need you guys, um, to give me all of your support and love because I am terrified. Um, I went for my pre-op on Tuesday and, you know, everything was going good until I saw the anesthesiologist and he was asking me to open my mouth as wide as I could. And I did. And he's like, you can't open it any wider. And I'm like, I can try. And I tried again. And he's like, okay, well... He said, the reason we do that is because we, you need to be able to open your mouth to a certain extent to be able to get, like, to be able to intubate you during surgery. Um, they just do that as a precautionary thing with most surgeries. And so he said, with that said, um, it's risky to put me under and then try to intubate me when they're not 100% sure that they can intubate me. Um, <laughs> so he said that I most likely will have to be awake while they intubate me and that freaks me out. Um, he told me they would sedate me um, as best as they could and they would numb my throat and all that stuff so that hopefully I'll be, you know, out kind of out of it and I won't really notice it or feel it. But I, it still scares me to think about a tube going down my throat. And I know that when I went to the speech therapist, um, they tried to do a test to look at my vocal cords, which they had to put like a, like a, metal tool down there with a camera and they could barely do that and it did not matter how much numbing agent they put on my throat I was gagging I have a really bad gag reflex and so they could barely do that test so I'm really really nervous and I just need your prayers that everything goes okay you know he was saying that my surgeon might say differently my surgeon might say you know once she's under her jaw will actually probably relax you know, he's like, your jaw might relax. He goes, maybe you can only open it that far because of, you know, the pain or whatever. And he says, so maybe when you're relaxed, it'll be different and we'll be able to get it open to where it needs to be. So, I mean, my surgeon can make that call, but it's not, I'm just so terrified about being awake for it. So... Yeah, so we have to be there at 7.30 in the morning. The procedure is at 9.30. It's about 40 minutes long. And then I will go to recovery. And then I will go to another area of the hospital. And I'm not sure how long I have to stay in that area. But I will go home the same day. And I'm really hoping and praying to still be able to go to the Kelly Clarkson concert the next night. Saturday night. Um... I feel, you know, the doctor gave me the okay. He just said it's it just depends on how I feel. So pray that I will feel well enough um, by Saturday night to go to that concert. I mean, I'm going to have Tylenol 3, so hopefully that will take care of any discomfort. 
and I can go and enjoy the show because now it's kind of too late to sell the tickets. Um, and we've been looking online at people that have been selling their Kelly Clarkson tickets and no one seems to really be buying them. So, yeah, it, it, I mean, it looks like it would be a really hard thing to try to sell the tickets. And that's a lot of money to lose. We're talking like over $200 to lose on these tickets. So, anywho, so that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys what was going on and just let you guys know that I'm like really super nervous and I am going to try to vlog um, my experience just as part of my life vlog, lupus vlog type thing. So, in the meantime, you can enjoy lots of memories, wonderful memories I made at the doll show. There are lots of videos. I got lots of footage. Um, a couple of the days I had to split up into parts. So, there's lots of videos to come, and I hope you enjoy them all. And like I said, just keep me in your prayers that everything goes well and that I won't have to be awake for this. And that if I am having to be awake to be intubated just just please pray that they drug me enough that I don't know what's happening all right guys take care bye